What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So I wanted to make a video talking a little bit about the changes having to do with Fredo 6's extensions. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So as many of you know, Fredo 6 is the developer that's given us a number of uh, really great extensions for SketchUp. So his extensions include things like Fredo Corner, which allows you to round off edges. He's got Fredo Scale, which gives you a ton of additional scaling options, like the ability to uh, scale and twist things, other things like that. He's also got extensions like Curveloft, which allows you to generate surfaces, and Joint Push-Pull, which allows you to push-pull curved surfaces. So large collection of extensions. Um, so a couple weeks ago, he put out an announcement on the SketchUp community that more of his plugins are going to become paid extensions. And so there's more information in this forum post, but basically what's happening is um, Fredo's extensions have been free for a long time, so more than 10 years, and he's moving some of them to paid extensions, which in my personal opinion is completely fair considering everything that he's done for SketchUp and the quality of his extensions. Um, so these are the extensions that are moving to paid. So Round corner, joint push pull, curve aloft, Fredo scale, tools on surface, topo shaper, curvazard, and visual hole. Um, those are all going to go to paid extensions. So each one of those is going to be $12 if you purchase it individually, or it's going to be $40 for the bundle of all eight plugins. So they are perpetual licenses. You can see more information about the licenses right here, but you basically get three seats, meaning it can be active on three computers. So my understanding is that you can change the seats, meaning you just have to deactivate it on one computer and move it to another computer. Um, but you can either get them individually for $12 or $40 for the bundle of all eight plugins, which is kind of a no-brainer to me, especially considering the amount of value that these bring. Um, these basically make SketchUp like a completely different tool set for the different things, kinds of things that you can create. And so you have to do some licensing things through the Sketchication plugin store. So basically what happens is you purchase these and you get a license sent to you and um, for each one of them. And then you just link it up inside of SketchUp. Let me know if there's any questions on that. There's a forum post um, that talks talks a little bit more about how that works right here. So that's linked on this page. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about how to make that work, you can do that here. Um, I will also link to the bundle right here. For some reason, I can't find the bundle on the actual like plugin store here, which is kind of linked off to the side. So I will link to that on this page as well. So personally, I am totally behind Fredo on this move. He has added a lot of value to the community over the years by making these available for free. I think it is totally fair, especially with the quality of these extensions, that he gets compensated a little bit for this. I mean, I almost consider this to be like a donation value more than anything else, just to support his work and keep him going. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Please keep it civil. This is not something where I think that anyone should be trashing on him for doing this. I think with the amount of work that he's done and what he's done for SketchUp, it's totally fair that he asked for a little bit of money for his extensions. So totally open to discussion, but please keep it civil in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.